Eritrea, officially the state of Eritrea, is an African country on the Red Sea coast in the Horn of Africa region of Eastern Africa, with its capital and largest city at Asmara. Eritrea was called Emdri, Bahre, which means land of the sea, by the local people. The term Eritrea derives from the Greek term Sinus Erythraeus, which can be translated in English as Red Sea. Eritrea shares borders with Ethiopia, Sudan, and Djibouti. The current population of Eritrea is 3,691,484. Eritrea population is equivalent to 0.5% of the total world population. Eritrea ranks number 133 in the list of countries by population. The land has a total area of 117,600 kilometers squared and a total coastline of 2234 kilometers. This land area is approximately 111% of the area of Ohio. Eritrea is thus the 22nd smallest country in Africa and ranked 101st in the world. There are nine officially recognized ethnic groups in Eritrea, Afar, Blien, Hidareb, Kunama, Nara, Rashahida, Saho, Tigray, and Tigrinya. In an Eritrean context, reference to indigenous peoples is primarily based on the claim of indigeneity made by some Eritrean ethnic groups such as the Afar, Kunama, Saho, and Nara. Tigrinya is spoken by about 7 million people around the world. It is a widely spoken language in Eritrea and in the northern part of Ethiopia. In Eritrea, it is a working language in offices along with Arabic. Located on a highland plateau at the center of Eritrea, Asmara, a modernist city of Africa, is the capital of the country and is an exceptionally well-preserved planned city, which resulted from the subsequent phases of planning between 1893 and 1941. The government of Eritrea is an authoritarian regime under the control of President Isaiah Safwerki, who has controlled the country since 1991. Even though Eritrea is seemingly one of the youngest nations on the African continent, it is actually one of the oldest occupied regions in the world. Eritrea is over 300,000 years. In the late 1990s, one of the oldest human skulls in the world was discovered in Eritrea. The ancient great kingdom of Aksum stretched over present day Eritrea, Ethiopia, and Tigray. It is suggested that the capital of the kingdom and its social and political center is present. Day Eritrea. The kingdom of Aksum lasted between 100 and 948 and was famous beyond the shores of Africa. It housed an enormous monolithic stela where the deceased elite were buried. Still, many have suggested that this region was the home to Queen Sheba, a biblical figure, and home to the Ark of Covenant, another significant biblical artifact. Eritrea had brief spells of Italian, British, and Ethiopian rule. After a couple of years under the British administration, the British federated the country to Ethiopia in 1950. Ethiopia presided over Eritrea from the 1950s until it granted her independence. It is one of the last countries to gain independence in Africa. The battle for independence lasted for 30 years. Between 1961 and 1991, the country gained de facto independence in 1991 and finally de jure legally recognized independence in 1993 after a referendum. The Danakil Depression in both Eritrea and Ethiopia is considered the hottest place on the planet Earth. This place sits in the African Rift Valley and is, interestingly, 300 feet below sea level. It also covers a whopping 60,000 square kilometers. The whole site is covered in salt mines and is one of the most visited areas in the country. So when planning your trip to Eritrea or Ethiopia, pin the Danakil Depression as one of the places to visit. Masawa in Eritrea is a tourist haven. Masawa is a good destination for unwinding and you can enjoy snorkeling and scuba diving here. 
Beyond the beaches, this port city also houses some historical buildings. You can walk through the city and soak in its rich history and culture. Eritrea houses one of the oldest port cities in Africa, Adulis. The Adulis port city is a strategic city and an integral area of the Aksum Kingdom. Sitting on the Gulf of the Red Sea, it has been reported to host human activities since the 6th century BCE. The city of Kohaito in Eritrea House, a temple that many believe is a pre-Christian church, the Temple of Mariam Wakiro. It is one of the famous historic landmarks in Eritrea. The national dish in Eritrea is zigni. This is traditionally a beef stew, but beef is not the only meat used in making this dish today. Lamb or goat meats are also popular options used to make zigni. When eating, Eritreans prefer to use their hands and not silverware. Eating with the hands is a part of the culture in Eritrea. The country is a multilingual nation, and its constitution states that all languages and tribes in the country are equal. Because of that, Eritrea has no official language. Tigrinya and English language are the most popular languages in the country. However, many more languages like Italian, Nara, Beja, Arabic, and Saho are widely spoken in Eritrea. The country is home to some rare species of fish. It is said that there are over 10,000 species of fish in Eritrean waters. One of the impressive facts about Eritrea is that it is the first country in the world to dedicate its entire coastline as a reserve. The country also produces a substantial number of pearls. Major export products in the country include millet, sorghum, fabrics, and livestock. The mining industry also contributes significantly as they export gold, zinc, copper ore, and silver. These are just some of the interesting facts about Eritrea, but the country is more than meets the eye. From ancient archaeological discoveries to its biodiversity and marine life, there is plenty to discover in Eritrea's fascinating history and culture.